Good morning world, I bet you're wondering why this guy is up so early in the morning. Well, that's because I'm getting ready to start my 24 hour shift today and uh, that's on an ambulance. Um, I'm an EMT, I work with a paramedic. Um, you'll get to meet him later on in the vlog. So I'm excited to do this, I can't wait to see how this goes. I'm nervous because it's my first time but Hey, there's a first time for everything, right? So, stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Um, I, I gotta go get ready because my shift starts at 7. And uh, I gotta pack up all my stuff and, you know, for the whole 24-hour shift. So, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Gotta give my daughter a kiss. Thank you. Because mm, even though we're medics, we still got dangerous jobs, and yeah, anything can happen at any time. So, um, just give my baby a kiss. One more. One more. I'll see you tomorrow morning, or maybe later. Watch out. Let me give Rocky a kiss. You gotta give Rocky a kiss. Rocky, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, let me kiss you. Let me kiss you. I love my dog too. So we got to go. We got to go. Got my bag ready. I love you. One more kissy. How many kisses do you want? Mucho. Okay, I'm out of here. All right. Beautiful morning. See you later, Brittany. Lock the door, babe. I love you. All right. Let's get this day started. Oh, shit. Magic touch. Magic touch. Hey, there I am. Ugh. Put my bag in the back. Close the door. All right. Let's get this baby rolling. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get there. So we made it to work, um, I did my rig check, it's what we have to do um, at the beginning of the shift, we have to come and check the rig, the ambulance, um, make sure we have everything, make sure all the equipment's working, 
um, make sure our medication is accounted for um, and and so forth um, so yeah we're clocked in everything's good to go um, we're ready to start this 24-hour shift um, hopefully it's not a too too uh, hopefully it's not too busy today um, but uh, I will be taking you guys on calls of course and showing you guys you know a little bit of what we do um, probably won't be able to give you a, a patient contact because of HIPAA laws and um, but uh, you'll be able to hear the call we're going to and we'll talk about the call after we're done etc and um, yeah let's have fun with it I can't wait I'm excited um, let's vlog let's vlog away and uh, have fun so um, uh, I'll start showing you guys um, a little bit of what we have on the ambulance and what we use it for. Don't go nowhere. All right, so we're gonna start with the uh, front compartment where we, of course, drive and sit to get to the call. Let's get in here. This is the computer. This computer tells us uh, they give us all our. Um, calls on here we get all our information on what you know the address and stuff like that uh, a little bit of everything we need to know is it comes over to that computer uh, through our dispatch um, and here as you can see our little radios port our radios to talk to our dispatch to get more information um, all these right here lights sirens um, I'll show you the, the lights later um, so yeah this is of course the driving seat either myself or my partner will we take turns driving um, and I'll explain a little bit of who gets to drive after, uh, after we have the patient or whatever later I'll explain that later so yeah let's go to the back now let's go to the front part where all the fun happens um, this compartment right here um, pretty much uh, is attached in inside it's, you know we can get you know, we just keep equipment on the shelves um, right here oxygen or portable oxygen these can go in the house with us um, this is a pediatric uh, emergency bag if we have a pediatric um, call we take this bag with us um, and then right here is a portable suctioner um, machine um, we can take this also in the house if uh, in case a patient needs to be suctioned or you know whatever the case may be um, to the outside cabinets right here we keep our seat collars and our towel rolls um, the seat collars we pretty much use to um, in case you fell and you hurt your neck or your back, um, we we put one of these on your on your neck to uh, keep your neck stabilized until we get you to the hospital. And then we put the towel rolls to support your uh, your head. You keep, it stops your head from moving. Right here we have backboards. We have backboards. Also for the same thing, pretty much uh, if you are in an accident or if we need to get you out of a certain spot, you know, if you have a possible back injury, you can, we put you on a backboard, you know, to keep your, your, spine, your spine immobilized. So yeah, that's where we keep our backboards there. This is the back of the ambulance. Um, Right here in this compartment, we keep our stair chair. This is a uh, it's it's a headache to use sometimes, but uh, it's real nice to use. Um, uh, getting people down the stairs, getting people up the stairs is it's a struggle. <laughs> struggle is real. So yeah, that's where we keep that. This compartment we have pretty much all our hazmat stuff, you know, just in case we have like an hazmat, a hazmat call, whatever. We have like helmets and special equipment in here. We normally don't open that. Um, right here we keep our portable, um, 
oxygen, I mean not a portable, I'm sorry, our main, <laughs> our main um, oxygen tank, it's a big, it's a big boy, it's pretty heavy, um, so we always check that in the morning to make sure that we uh, got enough oxygen to last us. Um, this is called a traction splint, this is for a uh, long bone uh, femur fracture injury. This is a KED. We normally don't use that. Um, so yeah, that's where we keep that extra equipment in. Of course, this is the, uh, the ambulance itself. It says paramedic because there is a paramedic on board. I'm the EMT. My partner's the paramedic. We'll get to meet him uh, during the vlog. Later during the vlog. So. Let's go inside where the fun happens. All right, so this right here, this is uh, a triage bag. This has uh, triage tags pretty much. Um, if we get like a mass casualty, um, we'll pretty much tag the person if they're, uh, if they're, if it's life threatening or if it's not life threatening, you know. We have different colored tags for that so again like I said this is the pediatric bag this bag right here is uh, the medication bag we have different medications in here for certain calls Ugh. so for you people who call us just ambulance drivers yeah think twice um, so yeah, we have, this is a IO drill, this is, this goes, just, just goes in your, uh, your bone, <laughs> just, just know that, just know it's not a fun thing to do, um, or to get done to you. Here's some medications that we use in a full rest, in a cardiac arrest, um, or in the diabetic emergencies, or, um, um, yeah, so, and then, of course, some more medications here that, that we deal with, um, multiple medications here, I'm not going to go through all those, but yeah, so let's put that bag back in there, I'll actually zip it up, it is hot, it's a hot day today, so I'm like sweating a little bit, that's our computer where we do our reports, um, right here, this cabinet right here, um, is a narcotic cabinet. We keep our narcotics in there, pain medications, stuff like that. Um, we keep that locked at all times. Um, right here, we just, this is the captain's seat. This is where we sit when we're back here with the patient. We, uh, you know, we, we watch over the patient, we monitor the patient. And the way we monitor the patient is, you know, we'll use this machine right here. It's a, they call it a ZO, it's a ZO monitor, cardiac monitor. It, it pretty much takes our, your vitals. It, uh, we can do 12 leads on here, four leads. Um, yeah, got our gloves, extra supplies there. We use this radio right here to uh, contact the hospital that we're going to, let them know what we're coming with, uh, so they can start getting ready and uh, to treat the patient, you know, stuff like that. This is a, a suction uh, container, uh, same thing as that portable one I showed you earlier. Um, we use that to suction patients if necessary. Uh, this is our cot. This is our red bag that we take in to the house it has pretty much uh, a little bit of everything that's in these cabinets um, here this is our airway cabinet we have everything that we need to breathe for a patient um, in this cabinet or to uh, like from non breathers to nasal cannulas etc uh, BVM bags um, this is our trauma cabinet. 
this is um, we have everything that you know related to trauma calls we we use here it's a little messy because you know when we're driving everything moves around so um, in this cabinet we just carry extra stuff um, extra supplies this is an OB kit you know extra supplies in that one extra supplies in this one little wipes that we use to clean the ambulance extra supplies in this one right here is all of our uh, IV supplies needles that we use to give medications etc flushes you know different size needles um, so yeah we have that uh, underneath these seats right here there's oxygen more portable oxygen tanks so those pretty much um, <clears throat> So yeah, this is this is where all the fun happens. It goes up front. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much sums up back here. Um, so oh, stethoscope, orange stethoscope. Uh oh, I think we broke the stethoscope. We got to fix the stethoscope. I can't even say that word right. Stethoscope. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, screw that back on. All right. All right. So that pretty much uh, sums up our office, our ER slash. It's a it's a it's a ER on wheels, pretty much. That's you know. Oh, so don't let me forget. Um, if, uh, if the call is very serious, um, the paramedic will be in the back it's, if it's more, you know, critical and life-threatening, um, then the paramedic has to be in the back with the patient. Um, if, if the patient is stable and, and doesn't really need any, adva uh, you know, advanced life support care, um, then that I'll take over. Um, which is basic life support um, from you know stopping the bleeding um, you know just monitoring the patient make sure you know making sure the patient stays stable you know until we get them to the hospital um, <clears throat> and and there's more there's more we we, we do a lot um, so yeah uh, that pretty much sums up that and uh, let me just show you guys me show you where we sleep and where we eat and yeah don't go nowhere all right welcome back to the vlog so pretty much this is our garage that's my partner's bike he's gonna show me how to ride his bike later <laughs> so you'll that'll be in the vlog and uh, this is a punching bag of course we use this to you know to take you know get some anger out sometimes or just to work out you know, um, we come out here just to hang out, you know, enjoy the nice weather that we finally got here in Indiana. Um, you know, we got some weights there. We got some extra beds just in case one breaks. We got a bench. But we don't got, you know, we don't got a big, you know, a big uh, gym, but we have something, you know, I mean, we have all our stuff, all our cleaning stuff. It's a little messy because I washed the rig earlier. I was cleaning the rig out and stuff like that but uh yeah so there goes my car so let's go inside and show you guys where we play the waiting game to get an emergency call all right so we're inside pretty much we have a map um just in case we don't know where something's at we can look i know we're pretty much all the streets are at so yeah that I don't pay attention to that this is a women's bathroom um, only one female works out of this base um, this is our kitchen the dirty dishes my partner just got done eating um, so we got a microwave we got a refrigerator um, coffee you know cabinets we pretty much have, this is pretty much a kitchen 
in our little living room. It's a little messy, sorry. You know, got to clean it up a little bit. But this is where we eat. We eat right there. We sit, watch TV right there and right there. Computer, that's where we clock in. Um, and we do paperwork or reports or whatever there. <clears throat> and then behind me is the men's bathroom. Pretty nice. And let me show you guys where we sleep. So this is where we sleep. This is... Oh, there goes my partner. Hi! <laughs> Hi! Say what's up to the vlog. What up, dogs? He's looking kind of weird right now. But you look pale. You look pale? Yeah, you look pale. I look <laughs> So this is where we sleep. This is my room. That's his room. He got the biggest room. Because he's a fag. Yeah. We get TVs. We got cable. Recliners, etc. My TV, portable radios, fan. So yeah, um, this is our cabinet where we keep like cleaning supplies and stuff. So yeah, this is uh, it's uh, this is this is our our second home. This is where we live. You know, majority of our lives, because we work 24 hours and then we're off for 48 hours. Um, but I also work in the ER, so I'm part-time there. I'm full-time here. Um, so, sometimes I don't get days off. Sometimes I do. But, yeah. Let me, let's go outside so you can see, like, the building, you know, etc. Mm -hmm. oh, they just got done cutting the grass, so. We are pretty much based uh, out of a police department. This is our base. It's a nice building. Nice building. It's our garage right there. It's my car. My car. And then uh, there goes the ambulance. What I just showed you guys. So just stay, stay tuned. And uh, whenever we get a call, I'll, I will be taking you guys with us. And uh, yeah. See you later. Alright. It's our first call of the day. Let's go. Yeah. Sexy. It's all sexy. Look at him. <laughs> We're going on a call. We're going on a call. We're going on a call. Matter of fact, I'll let him drive so I can vlog. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's see. <sighs> Turn on the car or the truck. Turn on the lights. Twenty-five sixty ones in a row. Twenty-five sixty one from thirty-seven Alder Street, Callahan Park. This is going to be for a seventy-two year old female. They said she is conscious and breathing. Supposed to be seizing. Probably my passerby. Uh, we don't have a lot more information, so they said the side of the park is the closest to Broadway. Copy. Seizure. Possible seizure. Focal seizure. 2561 dispatch. Turn now.
Alright, so we just got back from our call. Um, so pretty much it came in as a seizure. Um, it's very hot today, so we kind of think that's what happened to her. Um, she was okay. She refused to care. Do it again. That's the best workout. It'll be on Amazon for sale. <laughs> uh, so back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, it came in as a seizure. She wasn't having a seizure. Uh, and she didn't have a seizure. Um, so we checked her vitals out. She was stable. Um, I can't give no other information out. Um, so and uh, she refused to care. So we're back at base. Um, wait for the next call. Season. Damn, bro, you haven't did that in a while. <laughs> you still got it. Crap. He's busting a sweat. It is hot today, too. Shit. Oh. All right. Going on another call. Here we go. Signal. Okay. Twenty five sixty one Central. We're in route. Looks like we're going for a, uh, let's see here, uh, abdominal pain, 2561, 2561, Twenty-five sixty-one. Twenty-five sixty-one's in route. Twenty-five sixty-one. Oh, 
2561 is en route. Somebody's tummy hurts. Thank you, officer. Ready to save a life, Aaron? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Somebody got tummy pain. to deliver. Move out the way! Alright, so we just got done with our call, our abdominal pain call. Um, it was a regular patient we always get. Um, like I said, I can't give no information, but we're done. Now we're gonna go get something to eat. Well, I am. He's eating healthy now. True. <laughs> He's just gay. True. <laughs> he likes dick. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit that. That's, that's kind of. Uh... <laughs> Look at the new McDonald's being built. They're making it pretty so we can get fatter more. And this guy's gonna be the first one there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna legit be the first one. <laughs> I'm August not 14th. I'm not kidding. August 14th. I'm being serious. I'm gonna, like, I wanna be the first customer. That's my goal. Uh, August 14th. I'm telling you. That's, it was on Facebook. What time did they open? Uh, I'm gonna camp out. <laughs> He's gonna I get my sleeping bag ready. He's gonna fucking do uh, what do you call it? Pre game. Uh, yep. Yeah. I have a sleeping bag, a cooler. What would you gonna get? Like a Coke? Uh, uh, so get everything. I dare you get everything. 
How much do you think everything would cost if you? Man, you know what? I feel like what's like the most what's the most famous thing in McDonald's? Like a Big Mac, probably the most popular thing. No, no, famous thing at McDonald's. It's gotta uh, be a Big Mac. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know. Big Mac. I don't know. Happy Meal. Something. I'm probably get the most popular thing. Just say I got it. I like their McChickens. No, oh, I can't wait till they come out with their daily doubles, bro. I fucking love their daily. A McRib. Yes, McRibs. Yes, yes, yes. McFlurry. I'll make your flurry. Woo! No, you know what I like from there though is uh, the pancakes are freaking delicious. Uh, they, you know what they were at one point for me. Nah, no, they're still good. I think anything is good to you, fat cow. <laughs> no, he works out now. He works out. I gotta get back on it too, though. Yeah, we're going to the fourth day. If you're in East Chicago or ever come to East Chicago, what is this guy doing? Go to the Fuerte, it's the best, they got the best tacos, the best burritos, the best everything. So we're here on 1st Street, it's Fuerte, <laughs> throw some free food, give you guys some publicity, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, so we're back um, to the station um, from our last call. We were getting some food and we got, you know, we got a call, so that's normally how it works. If we go get something to eat, if we go to the bathroom, we're getting a call. Just be aware you're getting a call. Um, but yeah, it was just a person who needed someone to talk to. He's going through a lot of things. Uh, we end up taking him to the hospital to get some further help. Um, so ho hopefully all goes well for this patient. Um, Like let um let God take the wheel, you know, on that case. And um, but yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy my food. I got let me show you. Well, it's still in the bag, but got a Mountain Dew and I got some uh, quesadillas from the Fuerte. So let's go see if we can uh, get a quick bite before we get another call. day to day let me open it hold on let me show you guys real quick so quesadilla from the fuerte beans and rice or rice and beans it's pretty good food from there they're the best here in this city um so i'm gonna enjoy my food and we'll be back on the next call talk to you soon all right so we just got back from my uh from me i came in as a uh, possible overdose um when we got there turns out that you know the patient was smoking synthetic weed um, that's something we don't recommend doing. It can, it can make you do some crazy stuff. But uh, <clears throat> she was a minor, so you know, mom wanted to not take her to the hospital. Um, so they signed a refusal. So we're back at base now. Um, <clears throat> so it's let's see, it's now 11:01. I usually just, you know, start getting ready to, you know, lay down. Even though I just took a, a power nap, I still, you know, lay down, relax a little bit <clears throat> before our next call. I start closing the door, the garage door, locking up the base up, cleaning up a little bit, and then, uh, and then let the night begin. <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing right now, and uh, we'll wait for the next call tonight so stay tuned don't go nowhere hope you're enjoying this vlog um you know 
so don't go nowhere. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to go. That is the end of our vlog. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy my first EMS vlog. There's going to be more to come. I'm going to make more. Um, we weren't as busy, so you know we didn't go on a lot of calls. But uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for more. And I'm going to go home and uh, edit this vlog. And then I'm going to post it today. So thank you for watching again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And um, I hope you guys stay blessed. Follow your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything because anything is possible as long as you put your mind to it. Again, God bless. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Mike is out. Bam!